Hey kiddos, check this out. Got, uh, look at the sky here. She got this shirt from my friend of mine, Dan, and he made this based on the sky one night. And like, look at it, it's doing exactly the same thing again. Okay, so this video here is on the second superpower, the superpower of adaptability. So the last video was on consistency. So I won't go through that. You can watch that one again if you like. But the power of adaptability, I have two quick short stories for you. The first one is this, is that if you want something bad enough, you got to be able to roll with the punches and you've got to be able to see that on the other side of every challenge is a opportunity. So here's two quick stories for you. So the first one is when I was way younger, I think I just, uh, I think it was about 19, almost 20. I wanted to buy my first home and, uh, and actually it was just gonna be a rental investment property, but I was young and I went to a mortgage broker and I basically told him what I made and I told him what I wanted to do. And for whatever reason, this particular guy basically just mocked me, made me feel terrible. Uh, I was with your grandma at the time. And I remember just like leaving that office and well, I, like just my dream was shattered, right? He basically told me everything. I Not only did he tell me that what I was trying to do wasn't gonna work, but he took it a step further. Oh, check out that sky there. Isn't that cool? He took it a step further and basically almost made it sound to me like I was doing something wrong just because he had never maybe thought about it himself or or uh, he just wasn't as ambitious as I was. So anyways, I leave that meeting literally in tears and your grandma's there and she's basically saying to me, look, go, go talk to somebody else. If you want this, go talk to somebody else. And I remember in that moment thinking a little bit like, how bad do I want this? Because I just wanted to give up. I just wanted to you know, call it quits. Um, I mean, he had already told me I wanted to believe, even though I didn't want to believe his words, I also did kind of want to believe his words because it's easier to almost just bring the dream to an end or it's almost easier just to say, well, you know, hey, we tried, we took a shot, but see, it wasn't going to work out. Anyways, I went and talked to another mortgage broker. We got the deal done, bought my first home and the pool that we're swimming in today that you kids love and just enjoy you know, is largely paid for when I sold that property just this last year. So, you know, that's just an example of, of one story. Um, another story is our business ourselves. So to see the silver lining and just stay adaptable. When we started our business, we were selling a product to real estate agents for about $15 a month. And we were struggling and it wasn't working. And once again, you know, it was hard. And uh, people were telling me the idea wasn't gonna work. Um, you know, and it ultimately didn't really work. It started to come apart, but we adapted. We kept, we kept trying something new. We kept thinking of something new and we created a new product and that product we sell to those same clients for 250, almost $300 actually in some cases a month today. So 20 times what we used to sell it for to exactly the same client. And so I just want to encourage you with those two, those two stories because if you can combine both the power of consistency and adaptability and literally think to yourself, oh, like this challenge, there is something good on the other side. There's a reason to go through this. It's worth it. And I'm excited to see what's on the other side of it because that those two put together the superpowers. All right, kids, have a great day.